Hello everybody and welcome back to the second interactive problem. I got great feedback on that first problem that people loved the idea of just one hand and then uh, being able to play it and watch my video and then replay it and try to see if they can improve. And uh, So uh, thanks for the good feedback. Keep the feedback coming and uh, Here's problem number two. So if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, so you can actually play the deal yourself on my website on wolperbridge.com. You can click the link in the description on YouTube. And if you're already on wolperbridge.com, just click that play all hands button on the side. So uh, the the bidding starts want pass from north partner and our right hand opponent opens a heart and we overcall the spade and the opponents jump to four hearts. Now. Um, four hearts in this auction is usually show, showing a five card, five card support and a weak hand. So North was under a bit of pressure. They had to kind of decide now or never whether they're supposed to support us in four spades. And honestly, obviously, nine points isn't enough to go to game opposite a one level overcall. But when you're when preempts do their job, you we don't have a way to make a simple raise or any kind of good raise for partner. We have one choice: do we bid four spades or do we not bid four spades? And there's it's so important that a hand that's close with an unmentioned fit takes the push and supports partner because if north doesn't support if it goes past past south has no concept here that uh that they uh, are supposed to bid again They're, they would just automatically pass four hearts they overcalled a spade their partner didn't support them they bear, they have an opening hand so they would have just left four spades it's always up to the the supporting partner to make that a little bit aggressive bid to show their support and honestly North has a really strong hand in the context of the fact that they no partner probably has a singleton heart because they've jumped to four hearts uh, and means that means that the ace king of clubs are good cards the queen of spades they know is a great card so it's just it's sometimes you just got to bite the bullet and, and and take the push and that's what partner did on this hand so uh, they led the ace of hearts, and it went low, and they followed with the king, and we played low. And now they played another heart. Uh, we're kind of happy about that, them playing another heart. It would have been a little bit more uncomfortable for us in this hand if they had shifted to diamonds. So our goal is to take ten tricks, and if we count our tricks on this hand, uh, we have five spades and a diamond. Um, two clubs is is seven or sorry is eight obviously six plus two is eight uh, but we need two more tricks so where are those two tricks coming from uh, the diamonds have some small potential for an extra trick but not two extra tricks unless we are incredibly lucky but the club suit has a lot of potential for an extra two tricks it's an eight card fit so if the clubs are breaking three two we have four potential club tricks we just need to be able to set up the clubs draw trumps and go to dummy so let's look at this from two angles so if we set up the club first look what happens to us so we play a club and let's say we play ace of clubs and this is a, an easy mistake to make to play ace of clubs king of clubs and a club first now our clubs are set up uh, but we have to get to dummy. The other thing we're going to have to do to enjoy those seven, six of clubs is we're going to have to draw all the trumps. Now, if the trumps are three, two, that would be easy because what would happen is they come back a diamond now and we can pop up with the ace and we can play ace of spades, king of spades. And if the trumps are three, two, they'll follow. And then we'll play another trump, and the dummy will, will win the queen, and we'll get our 7-6 of clubs. But not today. Not on our problem hand, I'm sorry to tell you. Uh, the trumps are not are 4-1. So when they discard on this trick, now you can see West has two trumps left. So now when we play a spade up to dummy, and we try to take our club, unfortunately, West roughs it. And, and so we can't go that route. So there's an answer to this. So what we need to do is we need to draw trumps first before we set up the clubs. So And we, we can only do that if we play the clubs in such a way that we maintain an entry with the ace-king, which is pretty straightforward to do. We could just duck a club right now, and now they're going to win it. And now our clubs are good, and now when they play a diamond, we win the ace and we can now just draw trumps and now we don't care that they're 4-1 because our job is done
Okay, and now you see that we can just get the dummies clubs with the ace, king, and the seven six are good there now. So we're going to take our ten tricks. So that's one way of playing it is just ducking a club immediately. But you might have said to yourself, I think I should draw trumps before I even go after the clubs. So you could afford to start drawing trumps to spade to the queen and a spade back. But at this point in the hand, right now, this is a critical point in the time. When you see the trumps are 4-1, there now becomes an urgency for you to duck a club now instead of waiting and 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 ducking because and like instead of drawing more trumps because what happens if you draw even one more trump now when the when the opponents get in with their club watch what happens they win the club and now they can make us rough with the f our, with our trump setting up that last trump trick you can see with west or just to show you one more possible thing is that if we drew not only the king of spades and the jack of spades, that's going to draw trumps. But now when we duck a club, they just have a whole bunch of good hearts. You can see they can win and they will play a heart back. And now we've so we have a problem. And but luckily we have let's just go back to the point where we just won the ace of spades. So we played spade to the queen, spade back to our ace, and, and now it's our play. We still have a trump in dummy, and that trump is called a busy trump, or my mom calls it a busy trump. So uh, that what that means is right now we can actually afford to duck a club. And now, because what happens is that trump and dummy is protecting us. If they play back a heart, we don't have to rough it in the long hand. You can see that we have the same number of trumps as West. And so the big thing we have to avoid is taking a, another rough. We started with five. We took one rough down to four, and now we had an equal number as, as they do. So the thing we have to make sure doesn't happen is we can't get roughed down one more time to the point where they have more trumps than we do. That's called lo losing control of the hand. So in order to do that, we had to keep that busy trump and dummy. So this was a pretty complicated hand, but it was also a straightforward hand. We, we needed to get those clubs. We had a clear goal in mind on this hand, and that was to get the club set up, but to draw trumps before we enjoy them. And the hard part about this hand was being able to handle that 4-1 break, being able to set up the clubs in such a way that we had a way over there. So just one more time playing it through from the beginning. They led the ace of hearts, and they played a heart, and we rough it. And now we can go and try to draw trumps, spade to the queen, spade back to our ace but now when we see the trumps are 4-1 we have to pivot duck a club let them have it and they're just going to play back a diamond and now with the club set up we can pop up with the ace cash the king jack of spades pulling <coughs> excuse me both of the trumps and finally enjoy our long clubs up there in the dummy for 10 tricks five spades four clubs and a diamond um the defense definitely <coughs> excuse me uh, the defense definitely could have made it a little more difficult but not on this lie of the cards after the ace of hearts lead see if they shifted to the queen of diamonds uh, we we could just we would know where the king is and now they haven't made us rough so now we can just win the ace of diamonds and actually draw four rounds of trumps safely um, and so there was nothing that the defense could do on this lie of the cards so we draw that fourth trump we can throw away a heart and now we can duck the club. And it's the same thing. And our jack of diamonds will act like a stopper. They can take their king, but that's it. So uh, nice hand. A very important busy trump. Leaving that trump and dummy so we don't get tapped out. Like and what tapped out means is just getting to the point where we have fewer trumps than the, opponent, than the, the opponent's long hand. Hope you enjoyed this hand. There's more to come. Uh, and sign up for the website now. And you'll get an, uh, the newsletter and the ability to play some of these problems for free this summer.